My name is JJ Diaz, owner of Animal Crackers, Healthy Food, Healthy Pet, located in Miami, Florida. Hi, this is Nicholas DeMonica with Jump Art Media, and today we're with JJ Diaz of Animal Crackers. And um, JJ is part of our monthly series feature, where we uh, call Taking the Jump, where we feature different businesses and how they got started and their ideas and concepts and, and so on. Um, I originally got introduced to JJ and Animal Crackers a couple years back when I uh, first moved to Miami. And uh, I had a dog, Xena, who I brought with me today. And I needed a place to, to find food and just basic stuff for dogs. Um, through JJ's guerrilla marketing tactics, of uh, taking chalk and, and writing on, on the sidewalk of uh, you know, animal crackers and the phone number and location and whatnot. That's how I ended up finding him. Um, from there, I came in and I was really impressed with JJ and the store and just the hands-on kind of local feel that it has. Um, JJ introduced some great dog food for Xena and ever since I've been a customer. Uh, so I thought it'd be a great feature for, for this month. Um, JJ, you want to talk a little about animal crackers and how you got started and a little ideas behind it? Um, well, like Nick said, Animal Crackers to me, you know, started about three years ago here in downtown. Uh, just saw a need for, for healthy food for your dogs, a place to come, hang out with your dogs, pick up some good foods, worry about the nutrition on your dogs, um, you know, make sure they have a healthy life, live, you know, live longer than what's expected of them. Um, to me, it, it comes down to a personal experience. I, I had a dog, uh, my first dog, which was a Rottweiler, um, who at eight years old had a lot of health problems and not until I met a good vet up in Gainesville that taught me about proper diet, changing its diet, you know, eating right, uh, a little bit of acupuncture to help with some flows of blood back to certain areas where he had arthritis. Um, basically ended up that he ended up living five extra years with me where he was supposed to have a year left with me. So to me, that alone just uh, showed me that for dogs it's just as important as for us to eat something good and um, you know so that we're healthy and, and live longer. We're literally in downtown I mean we're right across from the arena pretty much right? Yeah well we're uh, just south of the arena across from the amphitheater in Bayside um, literally on Northeast 2nd Street and Biscayne uh, kind of easy access for everybody on Brickell uh, in downtown and our um, dog park area which is 15th Street uh, buildings for people to get to us uh, you know and not only that for most people who have come to know us we are a free delivery service for their food Which I and products answer. yeah <laughs> Nick definitely takes advantage of that uh, he's very keen on that calling me last minute uh, but we always get him his food so for us it's just a, a way for some of the people to walk over to some people just to make the phone call let us know what they're looking for and uh, you know within that day at most the next day we'll be delivering dog food right to your door. Um, now when you first started how did you go about marketing business and getting the word out there? Well for me um, as a small business it's always that you know balance of where to where to spend the money that I really didn't have um, and how to bring name you know bring, bring out my name so uh, like Nick said, uh, the easiest way is I saw a kid one day writing on the floor with sidewalk chalk and to me it was the most brilliant way for me to do it. I, you know, I grab buckets of it and just ride up and down uh, Biscayne Boulevard and just kind of write it all over the floors. Uh, any walls that, you know, are kind of abandoned that it's okay for me to do it on. Um, and just write my info, my name, you know, what we got, a little bit of the services and most people you know, it sticks to them. So they call and they're always like, oh, I saw you on the floor writing. So it, it's kind of worked out. And, and besides that, just a little bit of taking care of each one of my customers. So it's a, a word of mouth issue. You know, just try and take one person at a time. You know, the slow growth, taking it easy so that I could um, meet my customers and, and get to know what they're, they're looking for, for their dogs. You know, so for me to any other business owner that's looking for a quick tip, take your time. Take it easy. Understand that it's not, you're not going to get anything in the short run. Uh, it's taken me three years to get to kind of a point where I feel like I'm okay, even though I'm, I'm not 100% there. But, um, you know, just, you know, remember what it was like when we were younger and we used to be able to walk into stores and it was personable and people took care of you and wanted to hear what you actually had to say and not just, 
hey, buy this and get out my door. Um, so it's kind of one of those things that just sticks with me. Um, I feel like I used to, I remember that really well in my mind when I used to walk into shops and be able to grab something in the neighborhood and they knew my parents and it was cool for me to walk out with it and understand that my parents were going to come and take care of them later or, you know, in the aspect of just feeling like they knew who I was. And so for me, I feel like that's the way it's worked for me. Uh, it's helped me a lot. Um, it hasn't been as quick as anybody would like it, but um, nothing in life is quick. So if you're looking for that quick buck to make it happen, it's not going to work. Um, just take your time, take it easy, and have faith, man. Because you know, if you have your heart behind it, it's going to happen.